Redwoods have been around for thousands of years, dating back to the age of the dinosaurs. But there aren't so many around anymore. I'm here to talk to a researcher about what the future holds for these majestic giants. They're the biggest trees in the world, some towering 25 stories tall. But climate change threatens them all. They're redwoods, descendants of a group of conifers that flourished more than 144 million years ago when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Redwoods are the longest living organisms and the tallest organisms on the planet. Today, only three types remain. The giant sequoia, which can live the longest at more than 3,000 years, the coast redwood, and the dawn redwood. Thought to be extinct until 1944, when it was found in China, you can find all but the dawn redwood in the western U.S., mostly along the Pacific coast. Today, only 5% of what we call old growth redwood forests exist. So we would consider redwoods a very highly endangered ecosystem. The rest has been logged. Redwood is such a fantastic building material that in less than 100 years, 95% of the original redwood forests in California were destroyed. Dr. Healy Hamilton is a biodiversity scientist at the California Academy of Sciences. I do all kinds of research about how to conserve the diversity of life. She's using state-of-the-art technology to come up with detailed maps that predict how climate changes will affect redwood habitats in the years to come. Our research is trying to examine what climate models say about where the climate that redwoods need to survive might exist in the future, and especially trying to identify places where the climate won't change that much, a place that we might call a climate refuge for redwoods in the future. How does fog and the climate affect redwoods? You know, researchers at UC Berkeley have discovered that fog accounts for almost half of the moisture that a redwood tree needs to survive. So that's one reason that they cling to this really narrow stretch of the California coast. This map shows the current state of ancient redwood forests, and this map shows the best case scenario for the future. All climate models are run under different scenarios of how human society will respond to greenhouse gases. Are we gonna work really hard to reduce them, or are we just gonna have a business as usual future? And what would happen if all the redwoods went extinct? you'd lose an entire ancient forest ecosystem. You'd, you'd lose what many people have described as nature's cathedral. And all the plants and animals that depend on this ecosystem would disappear as well. We would have less richness in the diversity of life around us. It's an ecosystem she's passionate about saving. And she says it's up to us all to protect these living giants. If we don't do very much to reduce greenhouse gases as a global community, if we don't make this a priority, it's pretty grim for redwoods and a lot of other species. There's not a lot of room left for them. They can't adapt fast enough to how fast the climate will change under a business as usual scenario. It's a scenario that we can prevent to keep these trees around for decades to come. And really the future for you and all of the kids of your generation, it's gonna be determined by what we choose to do today. So it's really our responsibility to make sure they have all of ours, yes.